All right, I'm going to do this third video on ways of thinking about countdown, ways of practicing countdown, and this will be dealing with playing a three-note set, in this case a minor triad, on each of the chords of the progression. So you can see here in the PDF, on the minor triads I'll be using a minor triad built off the fifth, on the dominant triads I'll be using a minor triad built off the fifth, and on the major triads I'll be using the minor triad built off the third. This, is the, this would be the minor pentatonic that we were using in the first concept, the D minor pentatonic. In this case, just the minor triad, and each chord gets its own minor triad through the whole progression. So, one way to think about this is to first recognize that there's quite a bit of freedom uh, when you have only three notes per chord. You still have 18 triadic melodies. So I'm just going to go over that real quick. So, first chord we have is E minor. If I use the B minor triad, here are the 18 triadic melodies I would have. So that's the six triadic melodies in root position. And in first inversion, we would have these. melodies in first inversion, and then in second inversion we have six. We played those shapes in a slightly different order that time, but you get the idea we have 18 triadic melodies for any three note set or triad. So when you include phrasing, space, perhaps not using all three notes, like just one or two notes, uh, you have basically an infinite amount of material or melodic ideas that you can create using this concept over Countdown or any tritonic system, or any song, actually, because this will work for these types of chords very easily. So uh, I'll let you hear that over the dominant sound. So when we have an F7 in the second, in beats three and four, the second chord of the song. Then we would have this triad. And over a major chord, B flat major, we have the D minor triad. the idea. Those are the, the basic sounds we're working with. Very clear and simple. So the first thing I like to do to, is to familiarize myself with these triads. So that means, you know, thinking about the primary chord of the moment, E minor, and then thinking of that upper structure triad, B minor, and getting really fluent with that, both thinking of the main chord of the song and then the note set that I'm using. And through repetition that will become very ingrained and you won't have to really think too much about it. You'll definitely know what the next group of three notes is and you'll get pretty fluent uh, without much thought involved. So ways of doing that will be through playing each of those 18 triadic melodies through the progression. So if you pick the first, you know, picking the first in uh, root position, one, three, five will be your good starting points, very easy. you get the idea. So playing each of the 18 melodies through the progression vertically, so you're doing that on each chord. Then once you've gotten comfortable with that, then you switch to perhaps voice leading or changing the shape of each of the 
uh, triadic melodies. So for instance, if I went B minor to C minor to D minor to A flat minor to B flat minor to uh, E minor to F sharp minor. You get the idea. So you start to improvise, changing the direction of the voice leading and the order of notes that you're playing the triadic melodies with. You can also introduce space and phrasing. And over time, you get a lot of fluency using this concept. So in the next video, I'll demonstrate doing that with a saxophone. And I hope you find that interesting. And I'll see you on the next video.